Hi everyone, I'm Genesis from the Genesis Way and today I'll be swatching and reviewing the Gemma the Lipsticks from the Vive Cosmetics line. So I actually found about, about Vive Cosmetics Beauty Con Cultura a couple of weeks ago and I was really impressed and inspired by their mission. And basically they created this line to show the origins, the languages, and all these beautiful things in the Latino community and show the complexity and diversity of the Latinx community, which I'm really really excited for. So I actually got this lipsticks from a giveaway that they hosted on their Instagram page. Um, so it's not in any way affiliated with them. I, this is my honest opinion and um, I already tried them out. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you my review and basically the packaging and all those uh, beautiful things. So basically I ordered six lipsticks uh, of the Kemate line and they came in this packaging over here and uh, so pretty. <laughs> and when I open it, um, this is the package of the lipsticks right here. And it's very easy to open. This is one of them, really cute. And then another thing that I noticed was that it comes with three different it comes with comes with a stickers that says that it is magia which means you are magic it came with a postcard basically welcoming you to uh the beautiful community of beauty con cultura the vive cosmetics and it also came with instructions and these instructions are very important because this is a very specific kind of formula and basically it tells you how to easily prepare your uh, lips for the lipstick. So it comes first with the prepping your lips, which basically they say that you have to put on some lip scrub and then after that put some lip balm. It's very important that when you put the scrub and the uh, and take it off and then put the lip balm, you let it you let it dry on your um, lips or you take it off after a while because their products works best with um, with just the product, not anything else on your on your lips. So now we're going to swatch the six lipsticks that I got and like I said, I got the Quemate lipsticks. First, we're going to do Café con Leche. So this is the packaging. And you can feel like how light is this formula. Café con Leche is like, you know, a nude kind of feeling. We're going to see here. The color it is. Really cute. The second shade is Spanglish and is so so good and um it's similar just like a little bit to Cafe Con Leche, but it's a little bit darker. So we're just gonna put it here. Let's see the difference. And when it dries up, you can see the difference between that one and Cafe Con Leche. Spanglish. Next up, we have Kalinda, which is actually the one that I have on my lips right now. And um, it's on kind of like on the pinky side of it. So this is Kalinda. So pretty. I prefer those kind of products, those kind of colors. It just, you know, it's like this. <laughs> you can see here, Kalinda. And you're gonna notice that most of the products that I got, um, most of the colors are kind of similar, but um, I just like that kind of like uh, shape range. Next up, we have Preciosa. Reminded me of uh, the song that Marc Anthony sings, Preciosa. So that's why I wanted to <laughs> buy it. And this one is a little more pinky too, a little more shot. Right here, and you can actually start seeing how they look dried up, and then you can see how Kalinda looks on my lips. Next up, we have Wepa, which of course I was gonna order this since it's uh, a phrase that we use a lot in Puerto Rico. So I was like, Wepa, hello, and I actually use this for uh, New Year's, and wow, it's it's a shocker. It's a shocker one. Um, so here we have Wepa. To be honest, I'm not the best at swatches. It's my first time trying this out, so 
I'm so sorry for the crookedness, but look at the shockness of Weba. Like, Weba, okay? It's beautiful. So, I've been obsessed lately with like purple colors. Um, I'm not someone, and as you can see over here, like most of the ones that I use, um, uh, it are like kind of like pink nude um, because you know I just feel more comfortable but I've been trying and I'm gonna try in 2019 to get off my comfort zone and start using just like more bold lips like Weba so the last product I got is um, kind of like a more purple one and it's called Selena forever and hello who doesn't love Selena so um, if you can see like most of mine like this ones I got them because it's typically what I use to just like work and go at you know just just normal uh, times but I wanted to get some shock <laughs> into my collection of lipsticks um, so this is Selena forever and it's just a beautiful beautiful purple just look at this oh my god mmm look at that sorry for the crookedness I mean I'm doing my best <laughs> and uh, hopefully 2018 I'll be doing better swatches but I just wanted to show you guys just like how it's running up right now so I have Kelinda on my on my lips and I put on some like kind of like lip balm over it so it looks like kind of like glossy but nothing like that is like awesome like you like it doesn't come up like I love that about this lipstick so just if you want to go about your day without having to worry about putting some more lipsticks honestly i recommend this ones thank you so much for watching this video let me know in your comments below which of this was your favorite or if you have tried other baby cosmetics uh lipsticks or the highlighter duo let me know if you like it Thank you so much Vivi Cosmetics for just creating this company. It's just so, so amazing and your products rock. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I have so many new things coming out this year and I'm really excited to share them with you. See you on the next one. Bye.